Good day to all. Welcome to the spoken tutorial on thermodynamics in biochemical reactions. We are using Cam Studio software version 2 with Windows 7 as operating system. In this tutorial, we will learn about the application of thermodynamic concepts in biological reactions. First, we will see few basic about biochemical reaction and then we will correlate thermodynamics with biochemical reactions. From this tutorial, you will come to know about the working mechanism of living cells in thermodynamic aspect. Prerequisite for this topic could be a few basics of chemical thermodynamics including Gibbs energy concept and few biochemical pathways or metabolism. Let's see about the textbooks to be referred for this topic. First, Chemical and Engineering Thermodynamics by Sandler which explains the biochemical thermodynamics in detail. The second one, Biological Thermodynamics by Donald has lot of illustrations to explain biothermodynamics. Let's start with Gibbs free energy. So Gibbs free energy is useful and available energy in a reacting system. Mathematically, it is the difference between total energy of the system and the energy lost due to change in entropy. Del G is equal to del H minus T del S. In chemical reaction, the Gibbs free energy of the reaction is determined based on the Gibbs free energy for the formation of products and reactants as given in the formula. The numerical value of Gibbs energy of the reaction determines the fate of the reaction, whether it's a forward or backward reaction. Coming to the chemical reactions again, if the energy of formation of reactants is higher than the products, then the del G value of the reaction will be negative and the reaction will be favoring the product formation since it has a low free energy of formation. In the same way, if del G value is positive, the reaction is unfavorable and the reactant formation is favored, that is backward reaction. The terminologies given in this slide are explaining the spontaneity of forward reaction only. If the del G value is less than zero, the forward reaction is favorable. If the del G value is greater than 40,000 kJ per mole, then the reaction is unfavorable. If the del G value lies in this range, the nature of the reaction depends upon the surrounding condition. Surrounding may provide some energy to the system so that the reaction may be favorable. Second part of our topic is biochemical reactions, which are chemical reactions happening inside any biological systems. Two different types of reactions are reported in cells. First is catabolic reactions involved in breaking of larger molecules into small molecules and second is anabolic reactions involves making of larger molecules from smaller molecules. Catabolic reactions will be building blocks of catabolic pathways or catabolism. On a whole, biochemical reactions are building blocks of any anabolic and catabolic pathways. Another way of classifying reactions are based on the energy content. Here the reactions are classified as exergonic and endergonic in nature. In exergonic reactions energy will be released to the surrounding since energy content of the product is less than the reactants and it is opposite in endergonic reactions. In nature, biological system couples two different reactions in most of the metabolic pathways. Endergonic reaction which requires energy will be coupled with exergonic reaction which release energies. So the overall reaction may be a favorable one. Most of the bio biochemical reactions are unfavorable in nature. Let us see a basic example for coupling reactions in autotrophs, say plants. We all know photosynthesis is a process utilizing sunlight to convert carbon dioxide to oxygen by plants as given in the overall reaction in slide. 
This single reaction is actually a coupled reaction, light and dark reaction. Dark reaction is an actual photosynthetic reaction in which carbon dioxide is converted into two molecules of trisaccharide, which is three carbon molecule, and then two six carbon molecule glucose. This reaction is a hendergonic and requires large amount of energy which is provided by light reaction in which water is cleaved to hydrogen ion and oxygen in the presence of sunlight. The released energy is stored as ATP, adenosine triphosphate and NADPH. These are high energy compounds and are ready to transfer energy to low energy compounds. It doesn't mean that they are less stable compounds. The links between these reactions are ATP and NADPH molecules. Here, an unfavorable reaction is changed into a favorable one by coupling reactions. Thermodynamics also explains the need for production of oxygen from water rather than from CO2. Production of oxygen from water is highly favorable than 